Well, as you can tell by the blog entry today, I have another video about the Pope. This is the fourth one in a row. He's been doing some rather strange things in the public arena lately, so much so that one of his bishops, who used to be the uh, doctrine chief, uh, sent him a letter. And I do have the letter posted on the site here. You can actually get to that letter uh, if you go underneath this entry here. And um, uh, yeah, it's right there. It's the first one here. Uh, but uh, this Pope, has uh, been making some pretty strange statements over the years, ever since he became Pope, but uh, pretty much so in the last few weeks. And so this is one of the reasons I've gotten so many videos. I mean, I don't concentrate my blog entries on just the Pope and the Vatican. I like to, for those of you that go to the blog, you know that it's mostly just about current events and how they pertain to prophecy. But, you know, a lot of people think that for the Catholic priest to get married, that would be a good idea that would somehow stop pedophilia, but it won't in any major way. But this isn't the reason he's making this statement. It has nothing to do with pedophilia, in fact. The reason the Vatican has such a shortage of priests speaks boldly to the long-prophesied fruit of the priesthood. When speaking of the Vatican long before it even formed, the Lord moved the prophet Daniel to declare the following in Daniel chapter 11, verse 37. He said, Neither shall he, when speaking of the popes, of Rome, neither shall he regard the God of his fathers, nor the desire of women, nor regard any God, for he shall magnify himself above all. Now, we all know how the priests, prelates, and popes do not regard the God of their fathers in that they admit in writing that over 85% of Catholic dogma is, in fact, pagan in origin, which means they hate the God of the Bible, which they also happen to admit in writing. And they love the dying God of this world, that, of course, being Satan which they have also been caught red-handed worshiping on more than one occasion. And we also know the popes have declared themselves to be God on earth in writing numerous times, and so they, of course, magnify themselves above all. This means Daniel's prophetic voice is absolute as expected. But the prophet also states that the popes, the prelates, and the priests will be homosexual by declaring they won't have the desire of women in that long prophesied passage. And as we all know, by the countless molestation scandals, the fact that if you use the backtracking method of research regarding how typhoid started, as they did when they found typhoid Mary, you know, you just backtrack it to see where the disease started. Well, you find that Roman Catholic priests were dying of AIDS 11 times greater than anyone else in the world. And this was back before the AIDS cocktail was invented, so as to slow the death rate, which means that this disease actually began in the Vatican. And we also know how the Vatican owns and operates homosexual brothels and the Italian magazine that uh, let the truth out about 98% of the Vatican priesthood was in fact homosexual. I mean, this, there was something still rather sinister boiling to the surface here in the Pope's agenda to allow the priest to be married that most are going to be missing here. The Pope claims allowing priests to marry is the fix-all in all this, you know, the shortage. But what most miss is the fact that the homosexual community is the smallest minority known to man, and this is why they have such a shortage. And it's especially the smallest minority when it comes to the USA, where they sport a whopping 3.4% of our population here. But the problem is a lot of the people in Congress are in bed with Rome, and Rome is based on homosexuality. And so they're going to push that agenda, regardless of how small the minority is. But what I'm getting at here is this. If the Pope has his way, and this marital allowance is sanctioned by the Vatican for the priests, the Catholic Church will not only have numerous homosexual priests getting married to each other, because that's legal now, they will also be able to globally normalize homosexuality in the exact same way the demons in them did back when that act was the last straw that brought on the flood of Noah. Only now, and as we see homosexual marriage being legalized and sanctioned worldwide, this is what's bringing on the seven last plagues in the end of life on earth as we know it. Thank you for watching. God bless.